What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Pokemon that everybody loves. It is definitely top 10 in most people's list. And that is Lucario. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what do I have to do to make you subscribe? Seriously, only take a second of your guys' time. It is totally free and it helps me grow as a content creator. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. But let's get into today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Lucario. And like I said, everybody loves this Pokemon. It is just so cool, super strong, has a great design, and has a great move pool as well. We're rocking a life orb as this thing's item. The nature for this guy is going to be timid to give it that speed boost. EVs for this dude is rocking special attack and speed with that inner focus ability. We're rocking special attack with this Pokemon, but you can gladly go in with attack. I just like the special attack move pool a little bit more, so I decided to go into special attack. So you can, this guy is so versatile, you can either go attack or special attack. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Move set for this guy is going to be Aurora Sphere. Nasty plot to set up that special attack boost. Flash cannon for stab. And last but not least, you know we gotta have protect on our Pokemon. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be another fighting type. One of my favorites of all time. We got the one and only Breloom. Look at his little claws in the front. They crack me up every single time I look at it. He just has like little pinchers. I don't even know what to call him. It's his little hands. He has like two fingers that he just like claws things up with. His feet kind of look the same. But I love this Pokemon's design. Really, really cool. And it's really strong and competitive. We got Spore. We got Mach Punch for first turn priority. Bullet Seed for Stab. And Sword Stance to set up this lovely little Breloom. EV's first guy is going to be Attack and Speed with the ability of Technician. Really, really good. It's going to boost the power of Mach Punch. And it's going to boost the power of Bullet Seed as well. So this Pokemon's going to be able to hit like an absolute truck. Nature for this guy is going to be Adamant to give it another little attack boost. And then last but not least, the item this thing is holding is Focus Sash. So it doesn't get one tapped on. Third Pokemon for the squad is going to be our fake out user, and it's going to be Ambipom, another Pokemon that I absolutely love. Silk Scarf as this thing's uh, item to give it that normal type boost. Jolly Nature, EVs are going to be attack and speed with the technician ability, just like that Breloom. Then last but not least, the moves that we're using is fake out, double hit, you turn to pivot out, and aerial ace for our coverage move, and to do some work up onto those uh, fighting Pokemon that are so deadly to my boy Ambipom, because you know, fighting's super effective, so we need something to kind of cover it with this Ambipom. So aerial ace works perfectly. It works perfectly. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Togekiss, a great special attacker and a great support model. It works in both different situations. It's got the normal move set of Follow Me, Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. EVs for this guy is kind of just bouncing all over the place. We got HP, special attack, speed, and defense. If you guys want to see more of it, we got that Poke Pace down in the description below if you guys want to see it in depth. Super Luck has this thing's ability. Nature for this thing is going to be timid to give it a speed boost. And last but not least, we're pairing that Super Luck ability up with the scope lens of an item to give this critical rate, ratio an even higher chance of landing. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rotom. Rotom Wash, as to say, and this one has a Choice Scarf. This thing has a few tricks up the sleeve. Cannot wait to show you guys his moves and uh, get rocking with him. But Choice Scarf has this thing's item. We got Timid as its uh, nature. And then we got uh, HP, Special Attack, Speed, and I think a tad bit in Defense. It's kind of just bouncing all over the place. But the main EVs for this guy is going to be HP, Special Attack, and Speed. Levitate obviously has this ability because it's the only ability it can learn. And then the moves that we're rocking with is Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Will O Wisp, and Trick. Trick is going to work well because with the Choice Scarf, we're going to be able to outspeed pretty much all Pokemon. Most Pokemon in this format. And tricking it can hand them the Choice Scarf. So if they have a Fake Out user, we're just going to Choice Scarf them into that. Or if they're going to use like a move like Protect or a move that they really do not want to use multiple times, we're just going to trick them, give them the Choice Scarf, and just take their item away and control the battle. So cannot wait to use this Pokemon and pull off some tricks with this guy. Last Pokemon for the squad is going to be Arcanine. Great, great support mod. This one's physical attack and Arcanine with Flare Blitz, will o for Burns, Snarl for special attack drop, and Protect for our fourth and final move. EVs for this guy is HP and speed with a tad bit in special defense, but he's just here to soak up shots, pest around, get burns, do some special attack drops, and get his Intimidate ability off. Nature for this Pokemon. Oh, I switched up back to the Rotom. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be Jolly. Give it that speed boost. And last but not least, the item this thing is holding is going to be that Figgy Berry to give it some more HP when it falls below 1 fourth, I think. I believe it is that. But guys, if you want to check out this team to its fullest potential, we got that Poke Face down in the description below. All the EVs, all the moves, all that good stuff that you guys want to see is down there. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Lucario team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, looking for a big win with our boy Lucario. Let's see who this guy's rocking with, and let's see who we're going up against. So, ooh, okay, yo, pretty cool team right here. He's got the, uh, he's got the Infernape, the Star Raptor, Alkazam, Weavile, Azelf, and Raikou. So, pretty cool team right here. He has two fake out users with the Weavile and the uh, Infernape. He also has Intimidate user with the Star Raptor, and then a great special attacker. Actually, two great special attackers with that uh, Alkazam and Azelf. So, we definitely got to watch out for that. 
definitely got to watch out for that. Let's lock in our Lucario. I think turn one could be really, really good. Leading him with Ambipom could be great as well. So I really do like both of them as a lead. Bringing Tokus in the back could be good too. Yeah, Tokus does do some work on a few of these Pokemon. And then last but not least, I'm really like an Arcanine here. I'm really like an Arcanine just due to the Intimidate and the uh, Snarl we could throw on Burners as well. It just works well in a lot of these different situations. So let's lock in Arcanine. Let's lock in this whole team and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I'm hoping I can just set up Lucario and get rocking out with him. It could be great for the first battle. And also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Not for question of the day. I'm just curious. I'm honestly just curious. Is my intro too long? Is my intro not like the uh, little music, the six second intro? I'm talking about my team previews. Are those too long? Do you guys want me to cut them down shorter? Or do you guys want me to keep the same and just keep doing my in-depth analysis on each and every single Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to get you guys feedback on this one. But hopefully this dude knocks in some Pokemon. I wonder who he's going to lead. If I had to guess Infernape's probably going to be a lead. And that is why we kind of let Ambipom. Or Weeba. I wonder who's faster. I think Weeba outspeeds us by a tad bit. By just a tad bit. And he can't fake out my Lucario. So I can just set up a Nasty Pot turn one if that's the case. So let's see. He goes Azelf and Infernape. And I'm kind of cool with that. I am kind of cool with that. Because in this case, I kind of just want to fake out the Infernape and set up a Nasty Pot turn one. It'll be really, really good for us. And I think that is going to be my play. Just going into that, popping a fake out, and then maybe protecting my Ambipom, or not my Ambipom, my Lucario next turn, and then you turn it into my Togekiss. Just have a nice little follow me support mod on the field. Could work really, really well. But fake outs can come out oh, and do half damage all to the Infernape. No problem. No problem. Asself's going to use a light screen. I'm totally cool with that. That's a great turn for us. That is honestly a really good turn for us. So what I can see happening from here is that Infernape's going to come towards my Lucario now that when they spot it, he sees us as a big threat. So might as well protect, you turn out, and then go into that follow me combo. I'm really liking that. I'm really liking that play. So we'll go here. We're just going to pop a U-turn, and I could just pop it into this. Place. See how much damage it's going to do. I mean, it's not stab, but it is super effective. So we'll get it rolling here. We'll get it rolling here. Let's see. Let's see how we do this, this one. Lucario's going to protect big old shield poking out here, and I'm liking where we're sitting with this boy, with our boy. I honestly like having Lucario with a uh, with a Focus Sash, but I I I like the breathing with the Focus Sash a little bit more. So I decided to give this thing like, but U Turn still does a good amount of damage onto Azul. It is a little bit of a lightweight, but that's through the Reflect too. That is through the Reflect. My boy's hitting up hard. We're gonna swap into our Togekiss, and we're gonna get ripping from here. I think just follow me and having my Lucario just start taking out Pokemon left and right is probably the play. Close combat comes through here. We block it all day. We block it all day. Okay, so who's our threat here? If he's going for close combat, we might as well just take out Azel. Probably our better play. Just go into a flash cannon onto him. Or we could go Roar Spear. Hmm. Let's go flash cannon over into Azel. Flash cannon into Azel, and then just follow me. Infernape could protect. He could swap out, but follow me is 100% our play. He doesn't seem to have any double hitting moves. So if we could just protect our Lucario, get after the battle that way, I would love it. I would love it. He's just going to go straight for a taunt. Mm, that's a good taunt. That is a great taunt. That is a great taunt onto my boy here. Close combat's gonna come through here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We absolutely soaked that. This flash cannon should poke through here and finish off this as off, no problem. So defense is down and my Lucario is set up. He's playing no games today. Flash cannon comes out here. Yo, as off, do me a favor. Get on out my game, yo. You are 100% dead. Big old life orb shot coming in there. Lucario is not playing around after Nancy Plot. Thing hits like a truck. So we lose a little bit of HP. We cannot go into follow me's anymore due to taunt. And I think play here now would be maybe, just maybe, protect my Lucario and try to get off an air slash onto the uh, Infernape. So if I can take out Infernape and just have maybe Tokus go down a little bit, we could be, we could just bring back out Ambipom and get off some. I mean, Gleam would probably take it out, right? Yeah, that's the Gleam should be able to take out Infernape. I'm just gonna withdraw Infernape. Okay, so that's fine. Dang dude, we could have stayed in here. And Alakazam's going to poke back out here. Alakazam is going to poke back out here. So what do I want to do? Do I want to keep Lucario out and about here? Or do I want to swap him? I do like our Pokemon in the back end. He can snarl up on both these guys. And this thing's going to calm my setup, which is actually really, really scary. He's got to go. He's got to go. So we cannot follow me. We might want to double down until next turn. But he has screen set up. He can do some big damage on him, man. Which I'm terrified of. Liam's going to poke here. Give me some crits, baby. Give me some crits. That's definitely crit on Alakazam. 100% we got the crit on the Alakazam. Didn't get it on the uh, Raikou, but we might have to double down on the Raikou. Go into the Roar Sphere onto him. We're going to double. Actually, we're just going to go for a Gleam. We're going to Gleam, and then we're just going to uh, go after the Raikou with the Lucario. Dang, dude, I wish I had followed me. Dude, he, of course, he taunted with his Azo. That was a good play. And he's just going to straight up withdraw the Raikou into maybe Infernape. Let's see. 
It has to be Infernape. We already killed one of his Pokemon. So <laughs> Infernape comes out here, and uh, that's some game's gonna be able to pick up the double kill. Right? Because he can't kill my Tokus. Tokus Splash comes through here, and that's probably KO my boy. I mean, it is coverage, but yeah, it's super effective. Lucario goes down here. We had him set up, but yo, it is all good. It is all good. Lucario did his job. He set up. He acted as a distraction and picked up a KO. That's the name's gonna come out here. Double kill? Yes, sir. Yo, let's go. Crit on the Infernape. Crit on the Alakazam. Super luck and scope blends. Doing the work. Doing the... It's dirty. Love it, love it, love it. But yo, Lucario did a phenomenal job. That's exactly what I want Lucario to do. I wanted him to either set up and sweep like that or just set out to be a distraction. Because when you have a Pokemon that's set up like that, it's honestly just one of the best distractions. So you're going to target that Pokemon down. You can focus on doing other things with your other Pokemon. So if I had another Pokemon who could set up with Sword Dance, Dragon Dance, or Nest Spot, I probably would have done that while they were targeting that Lucario. So, really, really good. It's really, really good. We picked up a big KO. We got him set up. Played a nice little distraction role, and Tokus came in here with a nice big double kill. But I believe this guy's going to cancel, and battle number one's going to go towards us. Unless he's going to stay in here. No, nope, he cancels battle. 1-0 to get this video started. Great start for today's video. We set up the Lucario and grabbed ourselves a win here in battle number one. But let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back here. And we're going up. Ooh, okay. I was actually going to make a team similar to this for today's video. But I ended up deciding to go with Lucario. But this guy's got a Glaceon Frost slash a Bomb of Snow Hail team. That also features Weavile, a Rotom Heat, and Milotic. And Milotic. And something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of today's video is, if you guys want to catch up more content from me, follow me on Twitch. Name is right below the face, not below the face cam, it's right on the layout, Jeans25 on Twitch, and there's a link down in the description below. We do viewer battles over there, we're going to be doing Legends Arceus content, and Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 12 content. So go over there, hit that follow button, turn on your notifications so you know when I go live, and if I am live, pop out there, say hi, say what's up, I would love to talk to you guys. But, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? Lucario could be really, really good here. Lucario could be great, I feel like leading, maybe? Hmm, who, actually, yo, Arcanine could be phenomenal here too, he has a lot of that ice. A lot of that ice. And maybe Ambipom alongside with Arcanine could be a great lead. Could go into that, or he could honestly lead that Milotic. And if he does lead Milotic, that could be a little scary. So what do I do? What is my play here? Greenloom could be nice. Um, hmm. Greenloom just kind of counters up on that Milotic. I could go Rotom Wash for turn one. Yeah, maybe just trick something. Bring Lucario in the back end, and then last but not least, maybe the Breloom? I do like the Breloom, but the ice is really, really big up against it. You know what? We're not going to bring Breloom. We are just going to bring Togekiss? Or Arcanine. Let's bring Arcanine. I just feel like having Arcanine in that back end could be really, really good for us. So let's lock it down. Let's lock it in and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But I'm kind of scared of this, yo. Hail teams can definitely do you dirty. They can definitely do you dirty. So he's going to end up leading the Weavile alongside with Rotom Heat. Okay, I'm cool with that. Amy Palm and Rotom's going to poke out here. We kind of pose a decent threat here. We pose a decent threat. And what do I do from here? Just trick onto that. Uh, I could trick or I could just go straight into a Hydro Pump. What do I want to do? Obviously, try to go for the fake out onto the Weavile. And I could just go straight for that Hydro Pump. I'm going to trick. I'm going to give this Rotom my item here. I'm going to give Rotom my item here. I'm not dealing with him. He can have this Choice Scarf. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this guy does. I'm going to Choice Scarf him. But I feel like Weavile has to fake out my Amy Pump, right? If not, he's going to get faked out. Unless he fakes out my Rotom. He straight up Witch also Rotom. He's going to go into who? Who's he going to go into? gonna go into bum, 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 frost ice so we're gonna be taking frost ice item we're gonna say hey yo take this item fake guys can come out up against that weavile and that's some big damage that is some big old damage gotta love it tricks coming out here take my item we're gonna switch the cups around here you go take my cup i have your cup what do we get what's our prize we give him the choice scarf and we get oh and we get a focus sash we love it so this thing is gonna be able to outspeed us that's a little tough though that is a little tough i could go for a double hit i could go for a u-turn and just pivot out and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think we're going to take out Weavile with that. And I think at this time, we could just uh, Volt Switch out. Do we double swap? Yeah, yeah, let's double swap. Let's Volt Switch out. Let's U-Turn Pivot as well. I really, really like this turn. He's going to go into an Icy Wind. He's going to slow us down. I'm cool with that. I'm honestly cool with that. Because we're switching out. That he's only choice to an Icy Wind now. So speed is really what he's going to get from us. And that's totally fine considering he has uh, fast Pokemon. So we kind of already had speed regardless of that choice scarf. I'm kind of fine with that. He's just going to go for a hail, and he's going to set the hail, so Snow Cloak is going to pull out here. Hopefully, we connect the shots. That's all I'm hoping. That's all I'm hoping, yo. Snow Cloak can't be that broken, right? He turns in the poke out here. Is that going to KO? It does, yo. We about to get on out my face. Let's bring Lucario out and about. Because this thing is choice into an icy one, which is wonderful. It is wonderful. And are we going to be able to uh, land this Volt Switch? This Volt Switch could be big. But the real question is, who do I want out here? 
I kind of want Arcanine out there uh, a little bit more than the than the Lucario. Because if he brings some Rotom Heat, actually, if he brings some Rotom Heat, we'll just full switch into our Arcanine and we'll kind of just go from there. Or we can just hard swap into Rotom. But I'm I'm banking on this full switch connecting here. Full switch comes out here and it does connect. Beautiful. The full switch is gonna do about half, a little bit less than half. And we're gonna switch into Arcanine. So I like where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. Or we can switch back into Ambipom for fake out. Ooh, I could. I could indeed do that. I kind of like that. I am. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap an Ambipom. We have a fake out turn. I can fake out whatever Pokemon. And I can just drop a nice big old flash cannon on the false side. He can only go in the icy winds, which is awesome. Which is amazing. It's amazing. Alright. So who's he gonna go into? He has two Pokemon left. We know one's Rotom Heat. We just gotta save our Rotom Wash for that. If I could just save Rotom Wash, I feel like we should be thriving with this battle. And then who else is he gonna go into? Who is his last Pokemon? Maybe Glaceon? I mean, he set the hail with his, uh, with his, uh, who set the hail? What Pokemon was that? With a Weavile. So I'm guessing he has probably Glaceon in the back, another Snowcloak Pokemon. Someone just thrive off this hail. And we haven't shown our Arcanine yet, so I feel like once we bring that thing out, then he's going to be like, God. And it's, he's going to bring out Rotom. Okay, so Rotom comes out here. We're just going to fake him out. And I'm just going to Flash Cannon up. Flash Cannon going to come through. Yeah, that will definitely take out you. And we'll just go into this fake out here. Well, make you flinch, dog. Fake out coming in here. Yo. Look at that damage, dude. This thing has so much damage with a fake out. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So he's going to Icy Wind, chip up some damage on our Pokemon. And we're just going to Flash Cannon take out Frost Lance. And this battle's looking really, really good for us. Really, really good for us. Rotom flinches. Flash Cannon's going to poke here. And yo, great play by me to choice scarf this thing into an Icy Wind. It's not doing any damage to us. It's just taking speed control. And that's totally fine if he has speed control. I really don't mind it. I really do not mind it. So, Frost Lance drops down. We're going to lose some HP to the Buffets and alongside with our Life Orb. And then we're going to see his last Pokemon. If it's a nice Pokemon, it's pretty much a guaranteed GG's, right? It's pretty much a guaranteed GG's with Arcanine in the back. We have Rotom Wash to just counter up onto this Heat. And then if he has just a nice Pokemon, which is... Oh, no, it's Milotic. Okay. It is Milo Milo. So, I feel like Protect coming out here could be good for us. Protect, and I think we, we, we go after this guy. But I think, uh, I think Ambipom can still outspeed this Milotic. But if Lucario can just protect maybe this overheat or whatever shot Rotom's coming into, we can be sitting in a good spot. He's going to go for a trick. He's going to trick me. How dare you? How dare you? What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Oh, no. Oh, no. But at least we're choosing the double hit now. Okay, cool. He choiced us. That's actually a little bit better. We're choosing to a move that we actually want to use. I thought it was choice us in a fake out. I thought it was doing that. But that works all day. Hydro Pump's gonna come in here. We're gonna block it with Lucario. It's GG's, man. It is GG's. Because Ambipom still outspeeds a Milotic. Lucario still might outspeed a Milotic, which is really, really good. So we're just gonna double hit. We're gonna start hitting this thing with up with Aurora Spears. And we're just gonna be taking this big old tank out of the battle. But I can definitely see him canceling. He knows we have that Rotom in the back. We didn't even need to use our Arcanine in a Hail battle. Up against the Hail team, we didn't even need to use our Fire type. So double hit's gonna poke out here. Aurora Spears coming in here, but. He does not cancel battle. I was going to say, buddy cancels battle, but he does not. He does not. Big double hit damage coming in here. And Lucario outspeeds. Awesome. Minus one Lucario outspeeds the slow little Milotic. And Aurora Spear is going to poke here. Almost take it out. God dang it. What's this thing going for? He does have a berry, so he's going to be able to stay alive another turn. But ne next turn, he's dead. Next turn, he's 100% dead. I think double hit can do enough damage to that. But we're going to kill with, uh, we're going to use two hits. And he Hydro Pumps and he takes out my Lucario. One Pokemon I'm showcasing. This guy is sitting here. He's like, yo, I know Jeans is probably showcasing Lucario. Let me take it out and just rub it in his face. That's exactly what this guy did. Buffett's going to come out here. We thrive. We thrive. And double Hit's going to come out. We're not even going to bring in Arcanine. We're just going to bring in Rotom Wash. Go into a Volt Switch. And it's over with. And we have a Focus Sash now. <laughs> we have a Focus Sash. It's just hilarious. But that trick was definitely clutch. It was definitely clutch. And bringing Lucario in the back end was really good. So we'll Volt Switch out. So yeah, yeet. And then we'll just double hit. But I think Volt Switch is KOs. Actually, double hit much KO. Or we just cancel the battle. And we take that win. Let's keep it rolling here in battle number three. Looking for a perfect record. And once I saw the, our opponent's team, I was like, dang, this one's going to be a tough one. He has a really good team. He has Politoed for weather control, which I don't really see him bringing in. Considering we don't have any weather and he doesn't have any Swift Swim users, so I don't think Politoed's going to come in here. He also has Lightning Rod Raichu, which I could definitely see him leading. Then he also has a Scizor, who is a really good Pokemon, alongside with Gyarados, Arcanine, and Tokyo. So, definitely got to lead the Ambipom. Ambipom's just a great lead. I've been leading him in every single battle so far. He's just he's just really, really good. We could go Lucario as well. Maybe set up. That could be good. 
maybe just fake out and then set up Lucario and try to roll in with that same combo that we did in battle number one. This time he doesn't have any taunt users. Actually, he does have a few taunt users, but they might not have taunt on him. Which I don't see him actually having. So I, I am going to lead Lucario. I say we lead Lucario. I do want to bring Breedloom. Breedloom's a lot of fun. Breedloom is a lot of fun. We haven't used Breedloom in today's video yet either. So let's bring Breedloom here. And if we lose this battle, we lose this battle. It is all good. Obviously, I would love to have Arcanine in this situation. But, you know, we're trying to showcase this team a little bit more. You guys already know the deal. When we're 2-0 and we have a winning record, we always try to go for that, uh... We always try to have some fun in our third and final battle. But he ends up bringing the Polytoad. I'm actually super surprised by that. He ends up bringing the Polytoad, which I'm actually kind of cool with. I'm actually really, really cool with that. And I'm just going to fake out here. Fake out the Raju, get off some big damage. I know we outspeed. And I'm just going to nasty spot. I'm going to try to set this Lucario up, try to get rolling with him. I wonder what Polytoad's going to do. Polytoad is kind of scaring me because, like, he doesn't have any Swift Swim users. So it's like, yo, really, what are you doing? He might just be here just to get that Thunder off with the Raju. Maybe trying to rock out with Thunder. That could definitely be his play. That could 100% be his play. That's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. Fake out's going to poke out here. We're going to say, yo, slap. Oh, my damn it. Yo, chill on him. That's some big old damage. That is some big old damage. So we know our Ambipom outspeeds that uh, Raichu, which is really, really big. And we know our Lucario outspeeds that Polytoad. Polytoad's just going to go straight for Scald into my Ambipom. Amy Palm soaks. That's beautiful. No burns. No burns. Okay, so no burns come out here. Uh, I think U turn can KO this Raichu, so I just think going into that could pick up the KO. And then we could just Aurora Sphere out. We're not Aurora Sphere out. We could just Aurora Sphere into this Polytoad. Get off some damage and then swap into uh, Tokus while killing the Raichu at the same time. I'm with it all day, yo. Lucario set up. Can we go get after him with this battle? Lucario is such a beast. Obviously, like I said in battle number one, I would rather have the Focus Ash on this Pokemon. Because he is a lightweight, but I'm liking Life Orb right now. We're, we're doing work with the Life Orb. But yo, Ambipom's definitely, definitely a big threat and definitely a huge part of this team. Huge part of setting up, a huge part of taking control, especially since we do have any like, speed control on this team. I just really like having Ambipom and bringing him in probably every single battle I use with this team. Because he's so versatile. He can pivot out, he outspeeds pretty much everything. And he's going to faint first. Okay, so he gets the first turn priority and we still come up. That's a great turn for us. You turn should come out of your KO the Raichu, please. Thank you very much, Raichu. Get on out my game. He's probably going to try to maybe scald over towards me. So in this case, I could bring out, uh, I could bring out, what's it called? I could bring out Tokus, but I kind of like Breloom here. I kind of like Breloom. If he scalds into me, he can have my focus Ash. It's all good, but he might go after my Lucario due to us being nasty pawn up. He might see us as a big threat. So Aurora's here is going to poke out here, or maybe we could just one hit KO this thing. Or plus two, but this thing is pretty bulky. Yeah, see, the thing's super bulky. Super bulky, we get off some big damage. I'm still liking it. He's going to eat up on a Citrus Berry. And another Aurora Sphere will just take out this thing. So I know we outspeed it. We can just Aurora Sphere down and KO it. And then we can maybe put Pokemon to sleep with Breedle. So we just got to... Oh, yo, great play by him. I'll give it to him all day, yo. Great play by him. He takes all for a Nasty Pie. You son of a biscuit. Takes all for a Nasty Pie. Get this thing out of my face. Get this thing out of my face. This little Toad. He's going to bring out Tokus. So Tokus could obviously go for the Follow Me. And in this case, uh, who's faster? I need to know who's faster, Lucario or Breloom. Lucario is timid with that uh, 156. Okay, yeah, so he's definitely faster than them. So that's really, really good for us. So he goes in to follow me. We can get off some big damage with this uh, with this Flash Cannon. Probably not going to be able to take out anymore, but we're still going to be able to do some big damage. And he's going to protect the Toad. I'm fine with that turn. I mean, that turn all day. We still have our Focus Ash, so if he's going into an Air Slash, my, uh, my boy can soak up. Flash kind of pokes through here. And yo, Lucario just says, get on out my face, yo. We absolutely dump on the Tokus. Get that thing out of here. And we're thriving in this third battle, yo. I've been loving the BDSP format. I've been having a lot of fun and been winning a lot of battles. If you guys could not tell by my videos. You guys could not tell. But my longtime viewers know that the three battles I do record or the first three battles that I record are the first three battles I upload. So I'm not just doing a bunch of battles and showcasing my three battles that I win. These are straight up three battles in a row. This is what you guys get. But from here, I'm just going to definitely spore up on this uh, this guy right here. And I think I'm just going to protect Lucario. Actually, I'll keep Lucario in. I'll keep Lucario in. We'll, we'll, do, we'll deal some damage with, onto this frog. I was going to protect him, but it's just like, dude, we have speed up against these guys. We might as well take advantage of it. Yo, Breloom just did a little little punch, yo. If you watch him closely, he does he, he throws a 1-2 with his, with his claws. And it's hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully, we get to capture it again. If he doesn't do it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait out next turn and wait for the swing. He's gonna drop a bull punch. That's easy soaks. Easy soaks. He's just trying to get off some damage. He knows. He knows that we're gonna come out here with this score. 
Aurora we're, we're gonna pop out, pop out here, not gonna KO, but still bringing this thing down really, really close. And we should be sitting here fine, right? This should be a sweep for us, right? This should be a sweep, yo. Scissor, go night night, red bug, get out my face. And what's Polito going for? Oh, dude, this thing's buried. He's Lumberry. How dare thee? How dare thee? And Skull's gonna poke out here, and that's gonna take us out, isn't it? No sweep for us. No sweep for us. Get on out my face. Okay. So from here, I could definitely bring out Tokus. I could bring back out AB Pom. And I think, ooh, no. Actually, yeah, AB Pom could be a player. Yeah, we gotta bring out AB Pom. We gotta bring out AB Pom, and uh, Fake Out will come out before that bullet punch. So I think we should just be thriving by going into a straight up. Actually, we could just. Uh, I was just gonna take you out and then fake out the scissor. That could be your play. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let's do that. We'll take you out and we will fake out the scissor. Hopefully, it doesn't protect that, that toad, man. It protects that toad. I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna be very upset. But yo, I'm waiting for Breedloom to do that punching. Keep your eyes on Breedloom, yo. He does a little one-two punch. In, so. Cracks me up every single time. Just his claws. Just his claws in general. His little pinchers. Oh, look at him. Yo, you just seen him. He just did it real quick. If you guys didn't see it, rewind it and just keep an eye on Breedloom. He just extended the left and the right and went off. He's going to protect the Polyto. God dang it. God dang it, man. And I can mock punch him next turn. Fake Out's going to come out here. We're going to make this thing flinch. And I could just spore. I could spore. I could mock punch. Bullet Seed's going to get blocked. Uh, do I mock punch this turn? Yeah, because he's, he's going to bullet punch me. He's going to bullet punch my AB Palm. That's really fine. We are still sitting in a great spot here. So I'll, bullet, I'll mock punch him. And I guess we'll try to get off some damage onto this, uh, onto this little skizzy, dude. Onto this skizzy. But skizzy's going to bullet punch into me. AB Palm's going to go down. We're going to mock punch. Take out this... Uh, this Polytoad. And then next turn, we still have our Focus Ash. I'm just going to bring out Tokus, Protect Tokus, Spore up onto this uh, this Scissor, and then just start teeing off on this. Definitely not play. Oh, he protects you. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that, that makes my life a lot easier, actually. You not taking out my Ambipom this turn. Get on out of here. Yo, Mach Punch coming in here with the Breloom. And yo, it's looking like an easy, perfect record for your boy. Another perfect record for BDSP doubles battle, yo. I'm loving it. Breloom, do the punch right now. Punch up, yo. Should we wait for it? We could wait for it. But well, we're definitely going to spore up on this thing because we know Scissor can definitely uh, do some. Yeah, I'm waiting for Spreeloom to do the punch, yo. Breeloom, swing up. Do the punch. There's not. Bull punch comes through. Ambi Palm, you're done. Poor little monkey out for the count. He's out for the count. Good thing our Breeloom's going to wave a mushroom over this dude's face. We're going to say, hey, yo, you want to lumbar the first one? Go to bed, baby. Night, night, yo. Take your NyQuil pills. Take your melatonin. You're going to be asleep all night. All night. And now we bring out Toe Kiss. It would have been a problem up against this uh, scissor because you know bull punch probably would have just killed us. Scissor is really, really powerful, really, really powerful. And then from this case, I'm just gonna mock punch and just go into air slashes and just start teeing off on him. It's GG's right? Is he gonna cancel? He does not. He thinks he has a chance here. He thinks he has a chance. Scissor was going for that bull punch. Air slash can come through here, and I think air slash probably gonna KO right. Get this thing out of here. Yes, sir. We grab the crit. We grab ourselves that perfect record. That is exactly how it's done. Showcasing this Lucario team to its fullest potential. I'm stoked with the way this team turned out. 3 0, grabbed ourselves a perfect record, and it just gelled together perfectly. Ami Palm was really great in every single battle, was able to fake out, get some control with our Pokemon, and Lucario was perfect, setting up Nasty Spot, doing some big damage all around alongside with all these other Pokemon. This team, like I said, just gelled together really, really well. But I was looking for a Pokemon to kind of just use other than Scissor because Scissor is so prominent in the meta right now. I feel like another Steel type like Lucario is perfect for just like changing it up and having fun with this game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.